Joining me on NYSE Floor Talk is Chris Nagel. He is the CEO at Zift. Chris, it's wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me today. Fantastic to be here, Judy. Thanks for having me. So let's start off by talking about the company. What is Zift? Zift is the AI-powered fraud platform securing digital trust for the global enterprise. We've got about 700 clients today. Uh, brand names you would know, such as DoorDash and Yelp and Nestle, uh, down to much smaller mid-enterprises. Um, we are very focused on solving a very complex problem for the enterprise from two different sides. The first is protecting them from bad things happening with fraud. And there's lots of different kinds of fraud. We can talk about that. But it's also to enable them to provide a great consumer experience. So it's kind of protecting from bad things, helping them grow good things. So you mentioned that there are so many different types of fraud. So what are the common types of fraud that you help prevent? Sure, yeah, it's, it's unfortunate the world we live in is getting more complicated and there's a lot more fraudsters and hackers out there today. Our, the predominant type of fraud that we see today is payment fraud, credit card fraud. So there are uh, fraudsters that are fraud rings, there are individuals that are committing payment fraud, stealing card credentials, um, and those sorts of things. And that is just a huge problem for e-commerce enterprises really around the world. There's a huge rise in account takeover fraud. So somebody tries to log in, maybe they steal your login credentials and take over your account and do things that you had not intended. Um, there is account creation fraud, people, fraud rings, creating fake accounts um, to, to have malicious activities, right? So anytime a e-commerce provider, a content provider, a neo-banking company is, is trying to run their business, these new and different kinds of fraud are a real challenge. There are things like friendly fraud happening now. Um, I just published an article a couple of weeks ago in Fast Company on this where very good people because of the world that we're in today in the macroeconomic, macroeconomic environment are doing bad things. They are filing chargebacks, right? They are committing return fraud. So it seems like every day um, there are new and additional kinds of fraud arising and we're here to protect the enterprise from them. And what are some of the major trends you're seeing in fraud right now? Uh, boy, they're, they're <laughs> heading every, every direction, right? So account takeover has been on a real rise. Um, the, uh, the use of uh, Gen AI in fraud has taken a real rise. Um, friendly fraud has taken a real rise in the market. The, the, I guess probably the most concerning is what we call the democratization of fraud. So the idea that any person really anywhere in the world that's connected to the internet has access to a set of tools that are really freely available to commit fraud. That democratization of fraud gives people power to do things that they wouldn't otherwise normally have done in the past. And so with tools, the ease of access to the network, um, the people are just taking advantage of the situation that we're in and, and that continues to rise, right? And, and the, certainly the economic environment doesn't help with that. Now, um, AI, everyone's talking about it. Yes. And you mentioned yes. the rise of Gen AI fraud. Sure. Um, tell me, how has AI changed the need for fraud prevention? Yeah, so there are, there are good things about what's happening with AI and there are things that are very concerning. So if I look at it from a fraudster's perspective, Gen AI has given them the ability to create very compelling fraudulent scams that they wouldn't have otherwise been able to, to, to create, right? If we think about just a couple of years ago, you would see the, the fake emails and it was obvious, the misspellings and lack of punctuation. And you know, all right, that's a scam, stay away from that one. With Gen AI, they can create very compelling emails, communications, texts, uh, even video messages now that appear to be somebody else. And so Gen AI is, is also giving them scale of volume, right? The idea of creating, I just saw a case the other day, creating 100 fake dating profiles on a dating site to commit crypto fraud. Right before it was a very painstaking process. Create these one at a time, all the way, um, you know, from who who is this person, who's the picture, what's the background to kind of lure somebody in. They can do with them hundreds or thousands at a time now, and so um, they've got scale, they've got realism in a way they didn't have. So that's the bad side of what's happening with AI and with Gen AI in particular. Um, from a company that has built its success and future on AI, we see a lot of the positive benefit, right? We can run massive scale. We look at over a trillion events a year. So we are using AI and machine learning to consolidate and try to identify this is fraud, this is not fraud, right? And, and so there's great power in it as well. So I, I definitely view it as a two-sided story. All right, well, Chris, wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. Fantastic, great to be here. Thank you so much.